in our hearts. All right, I I don't know if Evil Box really is that the real thing anyway, but he then he is the real thing. Once he enters your game, shit just gets real. Anyway, Evil Box randoms and rolls Pink Zerg in a top left. He then spawns the Orange Zerg in a bottom bottom right. So anyway, ZBZ on Shakur's plateau. This may get weird as it can get. Very interesting. Anyway, uh, what's interesting about Shakur's plateau is that this map in this map you can't spawn on the same side. So it's always cross position. I'm sorry. It's always cross position. It's always left and right. One player is always on the left side and another is on the right side. You cannot both spawn on the same side because it will be very. It, actually, it will be too close for comfort. So, it's a good idea when starting on this map to send your units on the exact opposite side of you, as both players are doing. They're sending their overlords on the upper, on the left, on the other side, so that they can see and check. In the meantime, uh, we see that Heathen is making sure by and he's sending uh, a drone on the cross upper position, I believe. Yeah, check this this is a very uh, common mistake. I don't know what's the point of sending this drone since it's really impossible for vertical spawns to occur. So it's yes. always diagonal or horizontal. So I th I think this is, an, this is another one of those common mistakes among gamers where they think it's possible. Well, if, if it is then it's just a trigger bug. So uh, Evil Box going for a spawning pool as well. Actually, both builds, both are doing the same builds, but Evil Box slightly slower. And for those of you who are not aware, that this map has just been removed from the ladder for some reason. Wow. Wow, it was removed. I didn't notice that. When was it removed? Was it just removed uh, before Christmas or what after? I'm not sure, but it was removed. Some sometime during the holiday season, I don't, and the reason for its removal is not yet explained yet. Nice. I uh, think so because the uh, what was that map? Uh, oh, never mind. I forgot the name of the map. Maybe we'll find out later. Uh, they didn't have that map uh, in the ladder, but uh, late in the later uh, patches. But. Uh, for See that uh, both guys are the same build, and uh, we have Heathen who has his drone in Evil Box base, which gives him a slight advantage because uh, he knows what Heathen, uh, what Evil Box is doing a bit earlier. Meanwhile, Evil Box is just getting into uh, Heathen's base, and we see that he does Warren that is being created, which is very, very. Uh, Popular again on Zerg versus Ver oh, sorry ZBZ matchups yeah. because as we all know after the patch uh, roaches are very very powerful. Yeah, oh, go ahead. Sir. But in this ZBZ matchup, uh, Evil Box may decide to go straight for the for the lair, then jump to Spire Attack, skip roaches. This will prove to be very dangerous for he then. Th but he then decides to go for roaches. I think he knows that he must go for a timing between the between the lair and the spire. Or else the roaches would just be very useless against the inevitable mutalisks. Okay, meanwhile, we see Evil Box green a second hatchery inside his base. What is he gonna. Is he gonna spam Zerglings, or what do you think he's gonna do? Because on the other hand, he then is just expanding, which is uh, considered relatively safer or uh, a better decision compared to expanding on your own base. Uh. The way I see it, I think he then just made the better decision since it's a larger map. You all, you usually do the in-base hatchery builds when the rush distance is kind of small since you can't defend your natural that well. So, and I think Evil Box will be laying down the pressure, gonna put some damage in that morphing hatchery, and he then will be defending this with his great great skill. So maybe more than like streaming in. And Morris Ring is just rallied above the ramp of Evil Box. Anyway, nice control by Evil Box. Going for the spine color, no. Decides to go straight for the drones. No, the, the queen. The queen is. A, the queen is will the queen fall? Queen in the red. Two Zerglings gnawing on the queen. And the queen lives. No, not. In the meantime, Evil Box 
trying to keep the pressure on his second hatchery is already up his other one is going for a lair and actually gonna be sending the rest of his zerglings which are going to be eaten up by heathen's massive number of roaches and he also and speaking of defenses he then also has placed down a spine crawler which will shut down any other harassment uh, attempt from evil box at least in this uh, tire tier what evil box needs to do in this game is to deal damage before he then reaches layer tech completely because this two this in base hatchery strategy is centered around getting a huge number of zergies but I think Evil Box already left that strategy, abandoned that, that, that strat, going for the lair, going for the lair two, and th they're about to finish lair around the same time. Mm -hmm. Okay, while checking, uh, apparently Evil Box is going to go around the back side of the bases. As we see here on the lower left corner, he's going to destroy this destructible rocks, which might take a bit more time, uh, but it will allow him access to. Uh, Heathen's base, because as we see here, on the back of Heathen's base, there are actually no defenses, because it's very uh, relatively safe to destructible rock. So, we are going to go for a wall in. First time I've seen a Zerg wall in. Chambers and as so it's going to be blocking the rush, but what will kill the roaches? It's going to uh, keep the roaches from giving in. What is he going to do to kill them? He doesn't have uh, anything else except for a spy that's about 50% done. So anyway, he then overseer here just saw all that. Evil Box cancelled something. And what... He spire. Cancelled the Spire. The Spire. He cancelled the Spire apparently. So Ev Evil Box should be adding more spine colors to this base or just rely with the Queen, transfusing the spine color, keep keeping it alive, delaying, delaying the Roach attack. And I'm kind of curious what will Evil Box do. Oh, he replaced the Spire somewhere else. He doesn't want Overseer to be scouted, but... Anyway, he then... <laughs> he then managed to destroy the, the Spine Crawler. And the, as well as the Evolution Chamber, and this looks bad for Evil Box. Ro Roach, he then's Roach Army just waltzing in, destroy the Queen. Not enough Zerglings, apparently, to destroy this Roach Army. And Arcanthale is lagging. Sorry, guys. Seven so more Zerglings trying to defend against the Roach attack, and apparently more Roaches streaming in. And I think I think you need to leave the game first. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll join you guys on the next. Having, having to be having some internet problems. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, so I'll be solo casting, taking it from, the, from this point. Anyway, Ro Roach has destroyed the, evo destroyed the evolution chamber. Roach is just freely roaming around the main base of Evil Box. Evil Box just pumping Zerglings. Spire just finished. Beetlesks in the making. Evil Box must make this work. He must, he must make use of maximum out of his resources. But this may backfire since Ethan already has two bases secured. Evil Box only at one. And Evil Box looking for a counter attack. This, I, I don't think this would be very effective because of the spine color and the uh, queen and roaches. And Evil Box making, for, making the run fr from his drones and a couple of Beetleists just spawned. Three Beetleists against huge number of roaches. I don't think this would be very effective defending. And he then is targeting the spire. Spire in the yellow. Focus firing on the spire. This mutal this mutalist will not be defending that spire very well. Spire will go down. And there it goes, goes down, and more roaches, more roaches on the way. Everything just looks so bad for Evil Box right now. And I don't, I don't see the zerglings of Evil Box. I think they, they just perished under Heathen's power. And the middle is just continuing to defend desperately after losing the lair. I don't think Evil Box wants to really give up that easy. He, evil Box calls GG and he then leads the series 1-0. And here we go.